Hey guys, and welcome to video two in my modern shaving gear kind of experiment mini video series. Uh, so if you guys watched my previous video, I shaved with a cartridge razor, which is right here, the Gillette Fusion Pro something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of little add-ons there to the name. Anyway, I shaved with this cartridge razor. Um, this video series was inspired by an experience I had a couple weeks ago. I was traveling out of town. I needed to shave for a wedding. I was a groomsman and I didn't have safety razor blades with me, anything. One thing led to another. I did have a good shaving soap with me, but all I had available was a cartridge razor. So I shaved with the cartridge razor and actually gave me a pretty decent shave. Uh, it was fairly close, but uh, the, you know, a little bit of irritation on the neck, but nothing crazy, which was a lot better than my previous uh, experiences with a cartridge razor. So anyway, I decided, you know, maybe I'll take a look back at these new modern shaving techniques and not, well, not techniques, I think there's very little technique and that might be the problem, but the modern shaving gear and see if, uh, you know, see if I could get this to work for me um, using what I know now about, you know, face preparation and good shaving technique. So anyway, my previous video I shaved with a a good shaving soap and uh, the cartridge razor gave me a pretty good shave up here in my face. The neck definitely had some irritation, but you know, in the scope of things, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't where I was before with my shaving. Uh, so anyway, so that did okay. In this video, I'm going to be uh, experimenting with modern shaving creams. There's not really soaps out now. All of it comes out of cans like these. Uh, so I'm going to be using in this video my Mercor 34C. You guys know my favorite razor ever with a uh, a new blade in there, a Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless. These blades are incredible. I actually just ordered a hundred pack of them. Check that out. That's awesome. I love that. Anyway, I ordered a hundred pack because I love these blades. I uh, I found these blades when I was doing uh, some blade reviews. Uh, so anyway, I'm going back to these because these are awesome. So I'm going to be shaving with a more traditional safety razor, but as my shaving cream, I'm going to be using these. Um, so the first one I'm using is Barbasol. This was my original plan to use this as my like modern shaving cream out there, but uh, after I posted what I was going to use, guys said, "Hey, this isn't modern. Like this has been around for a while. You should use something more modern than this if you want to really try what's the best out there, more traditional or not traditional, more modern uh, shaving uh, world right now." So I looked up Barbasol. This came out, so the, it says in here, established in 1919, which is true. Barbasol used to come in a tube. It was a cream in a tube that people shaved with. Um, but in the 1950s, they switched to this aerosolized, aerosolized can. I don't know. Under pressure, you know, you hit the button on top. You know what I'm saying. And this is very popular. This was like a buck, maybe a dollar and a half for me at my local grocery store. So this is what I was going to use, and I'm going to use this today, but I'm going to only use the Barbasol here on half of my face um, because I'm going to use something that is more modern too. I'm going to use this Edge Sensitive Skin Shave Gel. There it is. You guys can take a look at that. Uh, this is made by Schick, and this is a shaving gel. This is actually what I used to use back in the day. I'd use this in a cartridge razor um, before I switched to, you know, wet shaving. Um, so I'm going to be using this too. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to split my, my uh, face in half. Half my face I'm going to shave with the Barbasol, half with this edge sensitive skin. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the ingredients. So the Barbasol, water, stearic acid. That's actually pretty good. I like stearic acid. It works great as a uh, shaving cream. Then triethanolamine, isobutane, lorith-23, sodium lauryl sulfate, propane, fragrance. So then the ingredient list after water and stearic acid gets a little bit sketchy. It's like propellants and uh, there's uh, preservatives in here. The sodium lauryl sulfate, that's a sudsing agent. So you'll see that in a lot of modern soaps. And that, it suds up. When you like work sodium lauryl sulfate, it kind of lathers up, but it's not a soap, so it's not a true lather, it's kind of like a fake lathering agent. So I don't love that, um, but stearic acid water, that's good, I guess. So that's what's in the Barbasol. Let's take a look here at the edge. There we go. Water, palmitic acid, so that's, um, that is uh, saponified palm, it's, uh, excuse me, palm oil, so that's where you get palmitic acid. Then once again, we go to triethanolamine, sunflower seed oil, It's pretty good. Glyceride, isopentane, sorbitol, stearic acid. So sorbitol is supposed to be actually pretty good. It helps hydrate the skin and the hairs and elevate them. Stearic acid, good. Isobutane is one of the uh, pre 
uh, propellants in here, PVP, I'm not sure what that is, fragrance, perfume, peg 90, uh, aloe, that's good, and blue one. So, uh, you know, not a great ingredient list. Uh, if this was coming from, if that ingredient list was coming from like an artisan soap maker, I'd definitely be wondering what they were doing. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the shave. I just got a shower, facial hair is nice, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. I have two days of facial hair growth. Um, obviously, I didn't bloom a soap, so I'm just going to take some hot tap water here in my sink and add to my face. All right, so this is a brand new can. Someone said don't shake it up, um, but I'm going to shake it up. I just think that this is what guys are doing out there who are shaving in the community. Um, I don't think people are going that specific with it. I think people are just using this stuff without thinking much because that's what I used to do. All right, shake it up. Let's go ahead and get some out. I will say that's pretty cool. That's a beautiful looking lather there. It just comes straight out of the can. All right, add it here to half of my face. It's weird preparing for the shave because I didn't soak a soap, I didn't have to bloom it, I didn't have to soak a brush, anything. It was, uh, it was interesting, just kind of ran in here after my shower and got going. I would say, if I built this lather myself, I'd be pretty impressed because this is beautiful, it's very thick. I'm just applying it with my hand. I'm not going to use a brush because I don't think that most guys out there who are using this are using a brush. Alright, that should be fine. Wash off my hand. And obviously these two creams will be uh, mixing here in my sink. I'm just not going to be able to control for that without bringing an extra pot of water. And I'm not trying to get that specific here. As these both are in the same category for me, they're both modern shaving creams. All right, let's go here to the edge. Yep, that's what I used to use before. Comes out like a blue gel. And you kind of work it onto your face. Yeah, that's what I remember. That kind of lathers up. Oh man, that smell. I haven't smelled that in many years. Brings back early shaving memories for me, which aren't necessarily great. I used to hate shaving, believe it or not, because it was such a bad experience for me and it hurt and I got ingrown hairs. I used to hate shaving. Alright. I'm happy with that. I think you can see the Barbasol on this half of my face, the edge on this half. This has kind of a blue tint to it. Alright, so for this shave, I'm going with my technique I know works great with me. Um, three pass shave, first pass with the grain, and then pass two and three are going to be cross grain in different directions. I right, go ahead and get here, get started with the grain. Not terrible. There's a lot of cushion here. It's a very thick lather. So it's got good protection between the uh, blade and my skin, but it's not that slick. I can tell that right away.
This is a little bit slicker, the edge. Um, I'd say you get a little more slickness with this. But not quite as much of that uh, cushion and protection. Alright, feeling back here what I got left at the first pass. Not bad. Uh, I nicked myself a little bit right there. Nothing bad though. Um, on the Barbasol side, there is almost no slickness here. Um, this uh, the edge side has a little bit of slickness. Anyway, I can definitely feel that. And this uh, definitely is consistent with what I was feeling on my face during the shave. Alright, this is so wasteful. It's another reason for shaving soap because now I have to go back to the can get more out Alright, there's my second lather or cream application. Alright, going cross grain this direction. Oh yeah, now that that first layer is off of hair, you just get more contact with the uh, razor blade uh, in your skin. I can feel here the Barbasol. It's not terrible, but there is just very little slickness. The slickness on this stuff is better. Um, I'm going to apply it thinner for my next uh, pass because it just gums up here in the razor very quickly. It's just because it's thick on there. Yeah, slickness is better. This fat half of my face was definitely more comfortable than this half. Definitely more slickness over here. My skin feels better on this side. Obviously the shaving creams are mixing here in the sink. So I'm getting a little bit of cross of the edge over here. Sorry, my dog's going a little nuts. I have to get him in here. Anyway, um, the shave isn't that bad actually. It's doing pretty well. Give me just a second, I'm going to go grab my dog. This is Jefferson, you guys met him before. Anyway, I had to lure him in here with some rawhide, which he loves. So if you so if you hear anything over here, it's him kind of messing around. Anyway, like I was saying, um, the slickness is definitely better on uh, this side with the uh, with the Schick Edge soap. Um, I'm getting some crossover of the products here in my sink because they're just all going in here. The Barbasol side doesn't feel quite as good. Anyway, uh, for this next lather, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on there because I think that it's uh, it's a little thick. Alright, so I'm going to put on the edge first this time, just get a little bit on there. I'm going to water it down just a little bit and kind of see if I can make this a little bit slicker. Doesn't feel that bad. All right, now to the Barbasol. All right, same thing. I'm gonna add in a little bit of water here. Hopefully help the slickness. There we go. 
Okay, third pass, going cross grain this direction. All right, there we go. Three passes, feeling back here. Pretty good. Those were honestly, those were comfortable passes. Go ahead and say that. I was using light pressure because I'm really not trying to push this for the closest shave ever. I just want to see if these products can actually work. Um, you know, not that bad actually. There's a big difference on my face when I'm feeling here between the uh, Barbasol side and the Edge side. The Edge side feels slicker, feels definitely more. Uh, Hydrated. The Barbasol side just feels a little dried out and there's not much slickness there. It just feels like I got some water on my face. Um, seeing here if I want to clean up anymore. Yeah, I'll clean up a little bit. Fortunately, it's a little bit over here and a little bit on the edge side. So I'm trying to split these up. Gonna add in a little bit of water to both. I'm using extremely light pressure here, and it's doing an okay job, actually. Um, it's not great slickness with the Barbasol, for sure. Slickness isn't there, but it does, just because it kind of lathers up, it's not a real lather, but it just kind of uh, you know, has volume to it. It does provide some protection there, which is better than nothing. I'm going to leave it like that. Alright, feeling back here at my shave. So I had Barbasol on this side. I had the uh, Schick Edge Sensitive Shaving Gel on this side. That was a good shave. Now I did shave with my Mercor 34C with a blade I love in there and using proper technique, using light pressure. This is actually a good shave. Um, I am happy with the outcome here. I had one little small nick there, but that resolved. It was just like the faintest drop of blood. It wasn't even like really bleeding. Um, but wow, that was actually a good shave. I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, but what I'm starting to feel now on my skin, now that the water's kind of evaporating off, is my skin is just like dried out. It just feels really junky. It feels vastly different than if you're using a really great shaving cream or soap that you've lathered up in a brush. My skin just feels kind of, I don't know, it just feels dry and chemically a little bit. It's hard to explain, but it feels like there's like a film on there. Uh, I don't know. I, just, I don't like that feeling, um, which I'll get to in just a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and put on my uh, Post shave here today. I'm going to be using the Barrister and Man Reserve After Shave. This is the classic. So I'm putting this on as my astringent. All right. Then I'm going to have post shave balm. Today I'm going to be using Soap Commander Integrity. This is their unscented after shave. A little bit of menthol in there. Alright guys, so the whole point of this video was to take some of these modern shaving creams and gels and see if I could get these to work using a traditional safety razor and using good shaving technique. Could I get these products to perform well? And the answer is yes, they did perform well. They gave me a good shave, they offered me protection, the slickness was definitely not there, but it definitely had a lot of volume, both of these did, which offered good protection between the, uh, the edge of the blade and my skin. So that felt pretty good, I'm happy with that. Um, it's a pretty close shave, you know, I don't, I really don't have any irritation here, which that's worth something. I will, uh, you know, this turned out better than I thought it would. 
Um, I'm definitely impressed. I would not use these to shave with, uh, but I am impressed with how they performed. Um, so one of my biggest digs about these and why I wouldn't use them is due to the ingredient list. Uh, they both have things in here, like I mentioned before, uh, triethanolamine they both have. This one has isopentane and isobutane. This has isobutane, sodium lauryl sulfate. That stuff is really not supposed to be good for you. It's like a fake sudsing agent. This has in here, actually this one isn't terrible, but with the, uh, but with the uh, triethanolamine here, the isopentane, the isobutane, PVP, whatever that is, I think I wish that they would uh, spell that out on there for whatever that may be. I should have looked that up ahead of time. Um, anyway, I just think long term that the products in here are not good for your skin. Isobutane and isopentane, those are both um, hydrocarbons. You know, those are made when they take crude oil out of the uh, ground and they're processing it to make gasoline, diesel, kerosene. Other things that come out of there are butane and pentane. You know, butane is used for, uh, for powering like lighters and it's also used so isobutane is a, it's just a different form of the same molecular um, combination that butane is, um, but they're used as propellant. So they put it in aerosolized cans like this, and that's why you know you don't have to do anything. You just hit a button, and these just shoot right away. Um, anyway, I just think long term those products like that. I try to stay away from things like that. I also want to use as much natural products as I can, which is something that I really like about the modern shaving movement. You know, these artisan-made soaps and creams and aftershaves out there just have incredible ingredient lists like this. This post shave from Soap Commander, it's just, it's awesome. Like aloe vera, distilled water, avocado oil, sweet almond oil. It's just amazing, you know? And same with the soaps. There's just such better things that I think long term, I've noticed that my skin's happier with those. I think long term, I'm 31 years old now and I want to be treating my body well so that, you know, 30, 40, 50 years from now, I'm not suffering consequences of bad decisions I made when I was younger, you know? And that extends to everything, you know? the. Uh, how you treat your body, you know, physically, mentally, the food you put in your body, what anything you put in or on your body, which extends to the shaving stuff too. You know, I almost want to be using the best stuff available. Anyway, as a small aside, the whole point of this video series uh, was to look at modern shaving equipment and to see if it can work well. You know, if you use proper shaving technique, if you use proper face preparation, can you get a good shave with this? And uh, so far, it's, it's actually going surprisingly well for me. First video cartridge razor with a uh, modern, or not modern, a uh, traditional shaving soap. It worked very well. A um, little bit of irritation, but overall, you know, it did an okay job. And this shave, same thing. You know, I think overall the post shave from these products was not great. Um, and they, they were not amazing by any means. Were they acceptable? Yes. Um, so, final video in this series, I'm going to be going with this uh, Gillette cartridge razor. And I'm going to use this uh, Schick Edge uh, shaving gel because this worked better than the Barbasol. So that's going to be my final video in the series using proper facial preparation, proper technique. Can I get these to give me a good shave? You know, I really want to explore, you know, are we suffering right now in the U.S. or uh, wherever else we're using products like this? Um, I can't speak to the whole world, but... Are, is it really that we're using bad products? I do think that there are better products available for sure, but is it more of a, uh, are we suffering from a lack of shaving technique? Are men just not being taught how to shave properly? And that's what's leading so many people to having uh, poor shaving experiences. I know that's what brought me over in the first place, so that's kind of why I'm taking a look back here um, to see exactly what is going on, at least in my experience. Anyway, thank you for uh, joining me for today's video, and stay tuned. More videos to come. Thank you for watching.